Did you really have to go that far to insult and disrespect my fiance? Fiance? This one is fiance. Is it this one you're calling fiance? Answer now. Someone that is looking for a man to keep her so that old age doesn't kill her. Listen, I have had enough of your insults. I have had enough of your stupid behavior in this house. Now you're going to apologize to her this minute. Otherwise, you're going to see another side of me. <laughs> me apologize to this one? Why can't she apologize? Listen to me! Any other e-word from you and I swear I will cut off your tongue. Bro, how long do you intend to take your leave? It's been a month now. Look, if I had the power, I would have controlled everything smoothly. <laughs> Miss Controller. <laughs> What do you think you can control? I can look, it's just my inner feeling telling me that I can do all things. You too, you can do it. Yeah, just not right now. You're still very young. Why are you in such a hurry? I'm young and vibrant, remember? Okay, please go and be vibrant somewhere else. Because <laughs> I'm not in the mood to do. Come on, uh, let's play. Drop what? your phone, drop your phone, <laughs> let's play. Amaka, please, please, I beg. Go and find somebody else to do But you're not I'm working not... today. I'm not in the mood. Okay, it's fine. Since my brother has decided to abandon me and not play with me, I'll go. I'll go talk to someone who understands me. Yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Aunt CJ. Oh, my baby. You and this is your combination. I wonder how you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This is the combination, the best combination so far. CM, mm. you need to try this. No matter what I eat. Be it pizza or shawarma or fried rice, chicken, turkey, everything. You see, I must dilute it with this one. How about water or anything liquid? They will help you dilute it better. Water, this one is the best type. Oh, you see, that's why I like your, your daddy. I miss him. I miss him so much. I miss your dad, my boss. Hmm? Whenever he's coming back from work, bam, one big bottle of granite and biscuits. He knows what I like. He just says, take, no question asked. That's it. So what are you trying to say now? That my dad knows you better than I. I am a kadu. You know, I was five years old when my father started working for your dad. So, logically, he does. Okay, you win. You win. I accept he does. I, do. I just know you so much. Okay. No, no. Nah. I'm jealous. <laughs> are you jealous? Nah, don't be jealous. You got me for life. <laughs> ah. I miss your daddy. Let me see. The pain is still just like yesterday. I can't believe your daddy is dead. Yeah. I miss him too, actually. But thank God, I have you to run to whenever I'm having a tough time. Yes. See, anytime you're feeling down at all, at all, mm. do not hesitate to come and meet me. I will ginger you. I will okay. make you happy, yeah? Don't have okay. any tough time, okay? I'm here for you. Mm? We'll just move on. Okay? So no more daddy talks. No more. Don't think about his death again. No more. No more. No more. Hi. This is well. Hmm. Hmm. Enter. <laughs> Auntie, how do you like this this is your combination? Mm. When you enter the toilet, how do you win your battle? Because I'm sure it's a strong battle. <laughs> how? Mm. Mm. Let me give you one juice. Uh, there was one time I was inside the toilet. Uh, uh, uh. It was strong. <laughs> I'm not doing. Hey, it's the guy from last night. Last night? Yeah, Henry. I dropped you off at your place. Oh, yeah. Gosh, my head is banging. I have a vague memory of what happened. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Sorry about your headache, by the way. Well, last night you literally passed out. <laughs> Good thing you remembered your address. That was crazy. Yeah. Um, I know that this is like super out of nowhere, but um, what are you doing later today? I was hoping I could treat you to like lunch and maybe dinner. Lunch time is over. I think we slept more than we should. Okay, so dinner it is. So, do I pick you up by 6 or 7? Seven? 7 is fine. Okay, alright, that's fine. Alright, see you soon. Bye.
Good morning, brother. Maka, how are you? Good morning. Oh, finally, someone decided to go to work today. <laughs> Thank goodness. Wait, are you happy that I'm finally going back to work or you're just happy that I'm going to be out of the house for a couple of hours? Well, <coughs> both. Two, one stone for two birds. God, you're such a troublesome child. No. And here I was thinking you were genuinely worried about me. I am. Look, bro, you know my, my true intentions towards you are the purest of them all. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Hi, hello. Yeah, I was actually going to call you when I got to the office. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, what are you doing later today? Yeah, but that won't stop me from doing something nice for you. All right, um, what do you say I pick you up, say, um, 4.30? All right, perfect. I'll pick you up. Okay, bye. What? You didn't tell me you have a girl now. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. My personal life is none of your business. No, no, you're wrong. You see, your girlfriend or your wife is definitely my business. I need to know if the person can take care of you, you know, in case I go out, maybe to the university or something. Well, thank you for your unsolicited advice. But in this case, you're not my caretaker. And on that note, I'm about to head out to work because I have a date later tonight. <coughs> I thought you were going yeah. to work. I thought you were working all day. Was that what I said? That's what you always do on... No, on, on, uh, on... I'm so sorry. I, I gotta go. Bye. Are you serious? Have fun. Bye. Because of what, a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Assignment to hey. I, I want to lose weight. See, it's exercise. Hey. And there are other better ways to exercise your body. Uh -uh. But I can dance now. Why are you telling me not to dance? And see, <laughs> wait, other method like what you just said, method, other method. How you do skipping rope now? You do press up, you do sit up, you do hey, other but types. I don't have skipping rope now, so how would I skip? I don't have skipping I'll rope. buy for you. No, hey. I'll buy, uh, yes, so that you stop that. You can, you can dance in your other place, you can dance in your room, in your bed, don't dance inside, don't dance with somebody. Am I that bad? And you can dance now. No, 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 no. Pire. Pire. What if somebody just walks into this gate now and sees you dancing? Pire, pire. Nobody will see me dancing. Hey, thank God your brother is not around though. Hey, that one, I know that one. That one will laugh at me, eh? <coughs> he sees me dancing. Yeah. But you know there's a way he can actually see you. How do you mean? I made a video. Leave me alone. Please, please, please. Leave please, me. Please, 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 please. Please. No. I have to delete it now. No. Please. You know you're my baby. See, if you don't delete it, you know that my sweet, sweet stories I used to tell you. If you don't delete it, I'll not tell you again, no. But are you trusting me? Kiss her, kiss her. Is this your trusting me? You know you're my friend. Ah, you know you're my friend. No, you know let me even send it to you. You know you're my baby, please now. I'll carry you. Do you want me to carry you? No, I'll carry you. Um, so Pamela, here's my younger sister, Amaka. Amaka, this is Pamela. Hi, Amaka. I mean, it's really lovely to meet you. Your brother here has said so much great things about you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> brother. So I noticed earlier that you made my favorite meal. Thank you so, so much. I am very grateful. Yeah. I even went a step further to grill the chicken. I'm sure you like it. Yeah, that's Let's eat. Yeah, sure, why not? How old are you? 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 I asked the question. <coughs> How old are you? I'm Aka. Um, I'm not. I just, I'm just trying to know who my brother is spending <coughs> all his time with. So you choose to start with age. <coughs> it's fine. <coughs> It's fine. Are you sure? You see? Sure. So tell me, how old are you? Well, I'm... I'm... I'm 34. You're... 34! What? Don't you know there's, there's this very large age gap there? It's so much! Did my brother tell you that he's younger than you? By far! Or don't you know that you're old enough to be both our moms? Amaka! Enough with all the questions. We're going to eat in silence because we have table manners in this house. Yes? Well, you didn't tell me she was Amaka. 34. <laughs> Sorry. She's just <laughs> trying to be funny. Kids of these days, they like to ask yeah. too many oh, questions. Oh, yes, grandmother. I understand. Because you have kids. Amaka! Um, you should try the cheek. Yeah. Amaka, why are you trying to embarrass me? Eh? What do you mean of that thing you did down there? I just asked a question, that's all. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, you're saying you were not rude, Abby? You're saying you did not act like a sports brat in front of my guests? Come on, stop acting cool. Stop trying to act cool. I hope you're not dating that lady already. What kind of question is that? Of course I'm dating her. Don't do that. She's not the one for you. What does that even mean? Look, I don't like her. I don't like anything about her. You've not had anything to do with a woman in years, and then you bring the wrong one to the house? Okay, hold on. So this whole drama isn't particularly because you don't like her. It's because, wait, you don't even know her from anywhere. I don't know her. I might not know her. But at least, I have this feeling, everything about her feels odd. Like, think about it. Why did she come for a young, rich man? And left older men, like her? Why? Why did she just go for people in, her, in their 40s and 50s? She must have something she wants to teach. She must have something she wants to do. She's 34 and you're 26. Eight years, come on. You want her to die and leave you as a widower? With children? You want me to come back to this house and take care of children after I've gone to university or I might have even grown then and married? Think about it, brother. What if she comes now and gives birth to old babies? Babies with teeth and gray and beards. If it's a boy, beards. Think about it. They can open their eyes in one day. You don't want to have children of your own. Come on, can't you see her eyes? Her eyes look like somebody that can do anything possible to get whatever she wants. Look at her eyes. This, this is... kind of dress she's wearing. Amaka, this, I don't have time for all your personal sentiments. What you did was embarrassing to me and insultive to my guests. So you're going to go there and apologize to her? Apologize to who? Why? I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't, I didn't commit any offense. She did something wrong by thinking she can date you despite her age. 34 years old. You know, I don't care. It's fine. If you don't want to apologize, that's fine. Me, I'm going to go down there and be with my guests. You stay, don't follow me downstairs. What? Behave yourself. Brother! So if she gives bread now and she looks like a grandmother, what will her, ch her, her children call her? You're making a mistake! Look at the skimpy dress she's wearing. What will she teach me? What will she teach her, 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 her children? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about her morals, everything, her character? Do you even know her well? Your sister doesn't like me. Oh no, oh no, she does. She does, she's just been a child. You understand? Listen, I apologize. No, it's okay. I know she made you feel uncomfortable. I know, but well, it's nothing, trust me. I mean, she's just being protective. She's sharp. Yeah, hmm? I know. Listen, Amaka has always been very protective of me. Because it's just the both of us, okay? okay. But I promise you, it's nothing personal. It's fine. Thank you. Anyway, thanks for the food. Food care. Something you barely even touched. Okay, so apparently I actually had something before coming here. So it was nice, actually. I loved it. Oh, you thought that was good? Mm -hmm. You should taste my spaghetti stir fry. Really? <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Seriously, I'm glad you liked the food. Thanks. Once again, you're welcome to my house. Oh. Thank you. You actually have um, a wonderful place. 
we have great taste. Oh, you think so? I know so. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. What? <laughs> It's just that you're so beautiful. Listen, Pamela. I don't care about your age. Okay? Or mine, for that matter. What I care about is what my heart wants. And my heart wants you. You know, you're such an amazing person, too. <laughs> Sorry, it's just not for me. Oh, really? No, I promise it's not. So, uh, wait, wait. Oh. Are you sure it's not? It's still ringing. I promise you, it's not. You know what? Why don't we go outside? You know, just chill outside. Sure, why not? Let's go outside. Oh, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some fresh air. <laughs> you need to take that call. I think it's important. I promise you, it's nobody important. What have you done to me? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for one, I can't stop thinking about you. And if I'm being honest, every single second of the day, you, the thought of you just clouds my mind. You know, and I really don't understand what's going on. I don't get it. I cannot explain it. Well, you don't have to explain anything. Hmm? So what do we do about your situation? It seems critical. Why don't you tell me? I mean, since you're my physician. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you make me blush unnecessarily. And that's so. actually a good thing. Ooh. If you ask me, honestly, I think it's a good thing. For one, it makes you much more beautiful. Pamela, I love you. And I've always loved you. From the moment I saw you dancing. Oh, so that's the catch. <laughs> mm. Well, looks like I'm not going to stop dancing. In fact, maybe I should open a dance hall. <laughs> Why are you so silly? Oh my goodness. I love you too. I love you so much. I mean, I never thought it was going to be this way. You see, your love and your intentional act made it so. And if dancing is going to keep this love intact, who am I to stop? Hmm? Come here. Don't you feel ashamed of yourself? Like, don't you feel like a sugar mommy on that couch? Talk to me, how do you feel? I beg your pardon. No, no, don't do that one here. Don't. Look, I don't know how you seduced my brother, despite your old age. But I want you to do me a favor. Make him understand your true intentions and stop acting like a 25-year-old. Hmm. <sighs> Amaka, 
Look, I know you don't like me, which is fine. But don't you think courtesy demand that you respect people who are older than you? Now listen to me, old woman. I want to let you know that you're too old for my brother. Yes, my brother is a young, handsome man. I can see it. <laughs> I can see the pretense all over your body. With a little touch of desperation for a man. Stop coming to this house. You're not welcome. Do you understand? Do you understand? I guess you understand me. Sometimes old people get dumb at some point. <sighs> it's okay. You better mind the way you talk to me. I'm not your mate. <laughs> well, unfortunately for you, nobody in this house is your mate. That's enough reason for you to walk out of this door and never come back. Leave my brother alone. I see you are pained. <laughs> pained? Me? Mm -hmm. I don't have to be pained. Because I'm not the one that have to force myself on people to be relevant. No. If pain was a person, my dear, Pamela. <laughs> oh, I see that's your plan. Your plan is to beat my brother up anytime both of you are having an argument. I see it. I see right through you. Red flags are just hanging over you like a pest. No wonder you stayed you this long without a man in your life. I've been trying so hard to ignore you in this house. I will not anymore. Get that into your thick score. Why are you barking like a dog? You never held back. Everything about you is fake. Fake life, fake everything. You pretend about everything. You thought you hid it well. The pretense, the desperation, and every other thing. You didn't. You didn't hide it well enough to fool me, desperate old woman. So disrespectful, silly girl. Maka. Why would you say that now? Why would you say you don't like her? She seemed like a nice person now. She's not a nice person. That's what I'm trying to say. She's faking everything. She's just pretending. She's a hypocrite. Ah. But wait, but you don't know her that much now. How can you say that about somebody you don't know? Besides, your brother likes her That's so the most annoying part of this whole thing. The fact that my brother likes her. Hmm. I don't know why he's failing to see her true colors. He's just blinded by love. I'm tired. I don't like this at all. I don't want him to be with her. I don't. You'll be coming down. You'll be coming down small, small. This time your body is just hot. Huh? And TJ, you don't understand. You don't understand. This auntie doesn't have a good spirit. If you even look at her, it's scary. She's scary. Mm. I wish eh? I wish one day if she comes to this house, I'll just take a knife and tear her apart. Amaka. Amaka, I don't know it to be like this, so. Please, I beg you in the name of God, just remove that thought from your head, okay? Remove it from your head, though. I don't want problem. Hmm. Sarah. Just help me and talk to my brother. Advise him. Advise him, tell him that this woman is not good. She's not good. You can, you, as you're talking to him, you tell him that you, you tell him how you feel about him. Hmm. 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 I cannot do. I cannot do. If you cannot see me. Me I, me, I cannot tell it. Do you know that you're, you're the cause of this whole problem? How now? If, if by now you have entered my brother, you have like, you know how these things are, by now you will not bring another woman into this house. Woman don't, don't used to enter man. No. It's the man that will come and talk to you. Can't you see the way I'm always smiling beside him? Eh? I'm giving him sign. Well, he's not saying it now. Huh? No, see, don't ever make the first move. Eh? See, if you like, if you see somebody you like, eh, see, this, it's better eh, for you to walk 100 times. Let him notice you. Desperate times calls for desperate, desperate measures. No, it's not and for this we're desperate. It's not for this one. Oh, 
old woman. Grandmother. Are you the one that put bleach in my clothes in the washing machine? Am I not talking to someone? I said, did you add bleach to my clothes in the washing machine? Oh, I see. So the old age has finally deafened you. You can't hear anything again. This is your plan. When you marry my brother, you will now die because old age will kill you. Old age will kill you. Look at you. Someone as old as you are is still acting petty. You act all, all sweet and nice, but you're beastly in nature. A beast. That's what you are. Are you out of your mind? What is wrong with you? I'm talking to you. Am I your mate? If you ever will be able to talk to me like that again, I will rip your face off. What's wrong with you? Just try it next time. Such a fault. Stupid girl. And yes, I put the bleach in your clothes. What will you do? Hey. I said it. I said it right on time. I said it. I knew it. That you're a beast. Grandmother, that is a beast. Ha! Huh. Better stay away from my brother. Stay away from my brother. I'm warning you now. You'll be acting like what I don't know. I'm warning you. Stay away from my brother. Go out of this house. Okay. Okay. Get out! Get out of this house! Get out of my sight! Your pretense irritates me! It irritates me, you! Didn't they teach you? Didn't they teach you in your twenties that you give a man space to keep your dignity? Why aren't you taught? Amaka! Enough! What's wrong with you? Listen! Bring my word from you to my woman and I swear to God I will lock you in your room! She's not your woman and she can never be your woman! She's just putting on an act to sway you. Can't you see it? I wonder why you can't see it. Shut up your mouth. Now, this minute I want you to apologize to her because I never thought you to be this disrespectful. Tell her. Tell her to mind her business and stay invisible because I don't want to see her or anything that looks like her in this house. Honey, honey. just ignore her. She's just a little You see, what, see the problem? This is the problem. Always pretending. Always pretending. Now she has, she, she, she's pretending to you. Baby, she's a child. And you're what? A grandmother? Get out. Leave my side if I do something I regret. It's fine. Can you imagine? Shush, honey, you just relax. She's just a little girl. What does, she, what does she know? I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Are you okay? Sure, I'm good. It's okay. I'm good. Amaka, I'm going to need you to stop this nonsense. What did Pamela ever do to you? She's actually the sweetest person I have ever known. You can't say anything. Because you're blinded by love, obviously. So anything she does is right. Anything she does is sweet. She's a sweet soul. I know what I'm seeing. I can see it. Okay, Madam Sia, what are you seeing? No, tell us. Because from where I'm standing, all I can see is disrespect upon disrespect. So tell us. I just know that she's a bad person. Oh, and you know her before, right? I don't know her before, but I know. But I case closed. There will be no more disrespect in this house. Now get up and go to your room. Bro, I'm serious. I know what I'm saying. I said go Please to your me. room. Now. Jesus. This girl is becoming something else in this house. Oh, hey, baby. Are you good? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So where next are you coming? Okay, I'm expecting you. I miss you. Oh, no, I miss you more. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, can't wait to see you. Love you too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Seriously, it was it was really it, it was really a tough phase for me, you know, because it was it was really toxic. What did he put his hands on you? Of course, he used to beat me. Oh my that God, was... I'm so sorry to hear that. That's fine. I'm over it now. 
it's just so funny how I actually stayed there for that long. But I have you now. <laughs> Life is good. Yeah. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I just say hi. Don't be rude. I don't have business with um old women, elderly women. So since you have things to do with them, you can carry them, back them, do anything you want. Let me go and meet a very young, beautiful woman. Auntie EJ. Listen, honey. Listen. Babe. Just ignore her. Okay? She's just been a child. One of these days, she will come around. Why does your sister hate me so much? What did I ever do to her? No, honey. She doesn't hate you. She doesn't hate you. Listen. She's a child. Besides, you can't really blame her. This is a huge adjustment for her. She's not used to seeing me with a girl in the house. Because I've been single for so long. Let's just give her some time, okay? I promise. Well, you could be right, so it's fine. I know I'm right. Oh, anyway, I don't want that to spoil our mood. Where were we? What were you saying? <laughs> you were saying something about what? <laughs> you like gist. No, you like gist. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's all good. Yes, you know, I was going to tell you. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I made it specially for you and Amaka. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't want to make the food. Mm -hmm. What? I just want to make the food. Talk. You cannot talk. Yes, I made it. Why don't you know how to do anything? Like, you're bad at everything. Why? Mama, Mama, what's wrong with the food? It's everything is wrong with the food. It's salty. The, the plantain is too salty. It's burnt. Everything is wrong with the food. I... Can't you taste it? But there's nothing wrong with this food, babe. It's amazing. The eggs are on point. Because you cooked it. And I'm sure my brother is just trying to please you. That's the only reason why he's eating it with all his heart. But deep down, he's dying. I can't eat this concussion with you. Go oh, for it. I'm not going to eat this. Excuse me, young lady. Where do you think you're going? I said I'm not eating this food. I can't eat this, this nonsense. You mix egg and whatever and bring for me and tell me it's food. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with this food. I took my time to make it. Yeah, it's great, actually. Listen, ignore her. She's obviously having one of those her moments. Just ignore her. It's amazing. I love the eggs. I'm I, don't so know, I don't know what I've done to your sister. Don't worry about my sister, okay? I love it, okay? It's fine. Like, I, I just can't stand her. She annoys me. And the worst part is my, my brother doesn't want to leave her. Like, Auntie G, that woman is not a nice person. No. She's not. Hmm. Me, I think that you should just take your time. Get to know her. Because for your brother to like her so much, that means she's a good person. There's something behind it. So just take your time and get to know her. You might end up liking her. God so bitch. I will never like somebody like that. Never. I can never see myself smiling, smiling to her. Never. Do you know how petty she is? Very petty human being. She intentionally provokes me just to get on my nerve every single time. Hmm. Okay, wait. Till. There should be a reason for you not liking her. Tell me. What is your reason? I want to know. Number one, she's older than my brother, by far. Number two, I don't just feel comfortable around her. There's this thing, she doesn't have a good spirit. You know when you meet someone and then your spirit doesn't accept the person? That's how I feel. Anytime I'm around her, I just feel bad vibes, bad energy, negative energy. Hmm. That's true. I understand you. Because sometimes there are some people you meet and your spirit will not flow with their spirit. Yes, exactly. But as for that age own, listen, my dear, age is just a number when it comes to love. 
and to leave that thing you're saying. That thing is not true. It's age, age. When you're old like this, you'll be doing, you'll be doing things that old men will be doing. You don't know that old men, eh? Ha. I don't know. That thing you're saying is not true. Age is not just a number. She's doing bad, bad things because she's old. She already knows those things. Okay. Wait. Very annoying human being, old. And you say age is just a number. Wait, wait, wait. Let's leave this talk aside, eh? My own concern now is, have you eaten? I don't have appetite. Ah, uh -uh. I don't. That's gotten to that. That Good. auntie, you think she cooks in this house? I don't know how my brother eats. It's just sometimes it's salty, sometimes it's I don't know nonsense. And she comes every day. Oh. She will come. She will cook. She will put in the fridge like she's the best cook in the whole world. <laughs> so wait, what will you not eat with? Eh? I, I cannot eat those those things. Oh. Okay, mm. should we just order? So that when we order, I can feed you. Because I know you like it when I feed you. Mm. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. So, do you want pizza? No, no. Or I want food. I've not eaten good food in a, in a few days. Or oh, you want my granola and biscuit? I still have it. No. We well, are going to other food. <laughs> rice and chicken. Fried rice. Okay. Nice. Woman, you're eating cheese boss. You're eating cheese boss at your age. What is wrong like, with you? They what is wrong with you? I said, then leave this house and leave my brother alone. That's the only remedy. Let go of my dress. Oh, what about my hair? You can't see it. I said, leave my hair. Leave my hair alone. Let me tell you. Yes. Your brother is stuck with me for life, whether you like it or not. So you better start getting used to it and start treating me nicely. Go for bitch. You see that treating nicely, Pat? God forbid. I forbid it. I will never accept you as my brother's wife. Not when you act all nice in front of him and then you come here and you display your madness around me. Amaka. Pamela. Amaka. Pamela, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You just like to annoy me. You just like to, to do things that will annoy me. Touching things that annoy your own. Touching my belongings. Why did you pour that food away? My food that I kept in the fridge and I wanted to eat. No, if you that, I will never eat your food. Well. I made something fresh for everybody in this house. And that's what everybody in this house will eat, <laughs> including you. <laughs> we made fresh. You made fresh poison. Something that somebody will eat and die because that's all you know how to cook. I see these days you're trying to impress me with your cooking style, your cooking skills. You bring it to my table. My dear, I am not interested. I am not interested. Eat your poison and rubbish food alone. Eat it alone. As old as you are, look at. You're eating cheese balls. Eating cheese balls, what children eat. Is it that you are you are an old woman today or you're a total child tomorrow? Nonsense. I'm sure all your teeth are gone out. All of them has gone out. Out of 32 is remaining 14. 14 teeth in your mouth. <laughs> what are you doing? Kashika. Old age is coming, so you're you're shaking. <laughs> is that what is doing you? Yeah, go and sit down. There's nothing you can do. Your old is there, you're old. Witch. I'm a witch! Do you just call me a witch? I don't blame you now. I don't blame you. I don't in front of my brother. You say she's just a child. She's this, she's no, leave her alone. But when we're alone, I'm not a child. You'll be eating cheese balls and be giving me rice. You'll be drinking bubble, you'll be giving me rice. Is it me that's supposed to eat rice? Is you that's supposed to eat rice? I'm supposed to drink bubble and sweets. Hi! Hi! Hey, baby. Ah, ah, babe, what's wrong? You don't look so happy. It was your sister. She fought with me. She did what? I don't know what else to do for your sister to like me. It's scary coming around knowing she's uncomfortable with me. Do you know what she did today? She slapped me. She did what? Yes, she slapped me. She pulled my hair. I was having cheese balls and she tore it apart. She scattered it everywhere. Can you imagine that? I'm not happy, honestly. It's... It, it, I don't even want to I, say anything. At this point, Amaka is just doing too much. You see? 
You even noticed it. Of course she's doing too much. How can a little girl like that just disrespect people who are older than her? I don't like the way she behaves around me. Even if she doesn't like me, she shouldn't treat me like that. Baby. It's so nice. Baby. It's so nice. Relax. Calm down. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, my baby. I can't believe she did that to you. She did. Listen, listen, I promise you. I promise you I am going to speak to her and have her apologize to you. Okay? Come on now. Come on, baby. Why are you getting so worked up? Amaka is just a small girl. Though. She's not. Don't call her a small girl. She, she's, she's so disrespectful. Your sister is so mannerless. So don't call her a small girl. She's an adult. That's an adult. Little kids will not insult their, their, their elders like that. Baby. It's so nice. Honestly, you need to talk to your sister because, yeah. listen, babe, it's just because I love you. If I don't love you, I will beat your sister blue black. Honestly speaking, it's just because I love you. I know. And, and, I, and I, I respect you so much and I know you love your sister. I don't want to do anything that will make it seem like I hate your sister. I'm not happy, honestly. I'm not happy at all. I just need to tell you. I, need to, I just need to speak my mind right now. It's annoying. Every time I come around, she bullies me. It's not nice. I'm tired. It's choking me. It's choking me, babe. I'm tired. I can't even come. I can't even come to your house and enjoy myself with you without your sister interrupting my happiness with you. It's exhausting. I'm tired of it. Babe, I've heard you. And I'm so sorry. Okay? I'm sorry, babe. I promise you, I'm going to fix this. Better fix it, cause I'm. <laughs> no, fix your face now. Uh -uh. You're getting so worked up. Listen, you can't let a small girl like Amaka ruin your beautiful face. Eh? You came to see me, bro. <gasps> it's me you love, bro. You sure know how to put a smile on my face. <laughs> Come on, I love you. I love you too. Amaka, what has come over here? When did you get so stubborn? Did you really have to go that far to insult and disrespect my fiance? Fiance? This one is fiance. Is it this one you're calling fiancé? Answer now. Someone that is looking for a man to keep her so that old age doesn't kill her. Listen, I have had enough of your insults. Mm. I have had enough of your stupid behavior in this house. Now you're going to apologize to her this minute. Otherwise, you're going to see another side of me. <laughs> me apologize to this one? Why can't she apologize? Listen to me. Any other e-word from you and I swear I will cut off your tongue. I said apologize to her now. You can look back, you'll see what she's doing, but you cannot. I said apologize! I'm sorry. What did you say? I said sorry. Good. Now get out of my sight. No! You know she has to apologize. I to said me. get out! Why are you crying? Oh, oh brother Henry! Ah, brother, no, what are you running to? Ah. You said brother Henry is it's, it's in trouble now. Let me go and help you. You didn't even listen to, to, to me. You're running to go and save somebody that doesn't need help. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, what is the problem? What happened? Can you imagine he made me apologize to that auntie? Ah, why now? For something I did not do. It's not even my fault. It was her fault. Do you know what happened? I put my food in the fridge. Food I wanted to eat this afternoon and then... She poured it away. Uh -uh. When I went to ask her now, why did you pour my food away? She didn't shout at me. She didn't beat me. Ah uh -uh, no. I did not do anything to her. No, I have to be the one to apologize for for, for okay. something I did not do. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why will he make you apologize to her? Is she not the one that's supposed to apologize to you? Yes. For beating me, for shouting at me. Ah, she beat you. Yes, now. 
you know the worst part? He called her fiancé. He called her fiancé. My brother called that that, that old woman fiancé. Fiancé. My brother needs help. He needs spiritual help. That, that aunt is holding him. And see, all this is is your fault. It's your fault. Why would you be letting, letting back at that old woman? I don't even know you. Between the both of you, who is fine? Are you? Well, you're just letting her, let, letting her to be getting what, what's not her own. It's me. I don't even have makeup on. No. See, she should pack makeup and put on her face. If I put makeup now, I'll be very fine. It's that woman. Wait, wait, wait. Fiancé. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry again. Hey, fiancé. It's okay now. Why are you holding your body tight? Sorry now. It's okay. I will do something very bad to Al. Yeah. I will do something. I will fight Al. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't make me laugh. Why are you laughing at me? Wait. We should see. We should do what is a fight. Leave the fight for me. Let me go and fight. Why? Why did you come back? <laughs> Why did you come back? Go and fight her now. Because she's like, an old woman. She's an old woman. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, EJ, I called you here because. You are very much a member of this household and the nature of this meeting requires your presence. Amaka. Sir. Babe. Not you. I called this meeting specifically because of the both of you. I don't know what's the cause of this whole cat and dog fight between the both of you. But he has to end today. Thank you, honey. You see, your sister here is like a sister to me. And of course, a sister to the love of my life. I don't hate her. And that's it. I have something against you. Amaka. No, 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 no. Leave her. Let her talk. Thank you. Number one, I'm not your sister. Don't try to make that impression that I'm your sister. It's an insult to me to call me your sister. Do you understand? Yes. Number two, I hate you. Number three, number three, you're a bad person. But you always act like the good person whenever you see my brother. Number four, you're too old. You're too old for my brother. My brother's in his 20s. When you're in your 30s, pity him. Number five. Can you can you tell me why you actually hate me? I want to know. Uh, I see this old age has done something very bad to you. So you don't understand when people like me talk. I'm going to repeat it again. I said you always put up an act whenever my brother comes in. But when you're alone with me, you you, you display your madness. Eh? No, 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 let me let, let me clear my mind. Sorry to, to, to cut you short. You are too old for my brother. I've said it countless times. <sighs> brother, I'm just trying to say that this woman here, this old woman, is not good for you. So you think you're in the best position to decide what is good for you? I don't understand. I'm not trying to decide who is good for you and who is not. It's just that you're blinded by love. I don't know whether this thing is love or charm. You're blinded by something that is not letting you see That's her. enough! I, I'm not going to listen to any of this nonsense. Brother, let me just give you a peaceful advice. This one, no ill words attached to it. Please, don't try to bring up any peace meeting between the both of us because it will not work. I hate her is I hate her. Everybody knows this. Everybody sees it. I hate her. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't pretend. Shh, shh. Um, I have something to say. Of course, go ahead. Amaka told me, she told me that Madame Pamela is always maltreating her in your absence. So my own is that, if it's true, Madame, please stop it now. She's just a little child. She, she clearly doesn't like me. Of course she'll say anything to make me look bad. Ah, Auntie Pamela, old age. Desperate woman! And now you've added lying to it. Look, I'm not deceptive. I'm not deceptive like you. I will not try to sugarcoat anything or smile even when I'm angry. I will say it. I don't like you. I hate you. Everybody knows. Everybody knows it. I don't like you. 
Why do you even pretend? But like, you don't know what happened though. In front of you, she'll start shouting, she's a child, she's a child. But desperation will not let her go to her house. Ask her why she comes to this house every single day. She's desperate. No, Auntie J, you see it now. You see it sometimes. She's a bad woman. Enemy of that's progress. I just saw her mouth. It's too blah, 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 blah. Desperate woman. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's okay. That's a lot. I know. I know. Listen. Babe. Don't mind her. Okay, look at me. Don't mind her. Okay, I only care about you. Maka. Maka, I'm talking to you. Oh, God. This woman, leave me alone. This old woman, leave me alone. Must everyone enter your trap? You just want to drag everybody to your level. Must I enter your trap? I should leave you alone. You locked me inside the room knowing I was there. What is wrong with you? Yes. Yes, I locked you inside the room knowing you were there. I locked you so that you stop parading yourself around in this house. It's affecting my mental health. It's, it's, it's breaking me down mentally. Please. You're already forced yourself on my brother. That's okay. Even though I'm not too okay with it, but that's okay. Why not sit down one place in his room instead of walking around this house? Do you... Do you hate me that much? Yes! I hate you that much. I don't know how many times I have to spell it out to you, but I hate you that much. I'm tired of you trying to force yourself on us. And you, are you not tired? Now I see where the problem is. Well, news flash, darling. I'm your brother's choice. You better get used to it. <laughs> you know why this is not a threat to me? Because it's coming from a retired, desperate old woman. So I'm, I'm not, in fact, it's gross. It's irritating <sighs> when you say it, when you try to look like a 25-year-old girl. I forget you're 34. Why am I even stressing myself? You know, sometimes you don't need to speak with old women. Arguing with them, cut their life short. What's 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 uh, 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 um sense? What's this perfume that you use? It's smelling like old women perfume. Come on, that. Old woman, can you at least cook properly if you want to impress us and stop wasting ingredients? Excuse you. Excuse me. Stop cooking if you don't know the right things to put together in that kitchen. What's that poison in the pot? Amaka, why do you always have problem with my food? Why? We literally ate that food not quite long. So what are you saying? You can rant, you can blab all you want. It's not my concern. My point is, stop <sighs> making cooking look horrible for growing children like me. Can you, can you at least do something meaningful with yourself? Please. Young lady, can you have some respect? <laughs> respect is earned and not demanded. You have not done anything deserving to earn my respect. So there's no way I can respect you. Please, try and leave my brother alone, desperate woman. Make something for myself to eat. person that is touching me. Don't touch me. If I, if, I, if I slap you now, what's wrong with you? Because I'm trying to help you. What's your problem? Don't help me. I don't need your help. Don't touch me. You irritate me. I would rather die than, than receive any help from you. <laughs> exactly my point. Tell me, how would you like to die? Should I get you rope or poison? Which one? Because I really need it to happen fast. Hey. Uh, if not that my tongue is paining me. Eh? If not that my tongue is paining me. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Sorry I took time to come. <laughs> 
Very sorry. <laughs> the <laughs> first pharmacy I went to didn't have the medicine. Mm. So I had to go to another one. Thank, Thank you so mm. much. I appreciate it. Mm. You're the only one that is useful in this house. Mm. Apart from my brother. Oh, God. Okay. Hey, let me go and get you water so you drink. Please. Please. <laughs> See her face acting like warm that they poured salt on. Water. That's what you want. Are you talking to me? What do you, what do you want to do? Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. <coughs> Next time you should tell me now. And you should have told me that you run out of um, your med medicine. Yeah? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm fine. Let me just take the medicine. Next time, tell me. Yeah? Tell yeah. your acting. If it's to have mouth, your mouth will be sharp. Small mess wrapping. See how you're acting. I hear you this one. But ma, you know she's just a kid now. This hey. one. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm trying to play solid. I need this as we take more. I thought we were supposed to cheers first. Oh, sorry. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> You know I love you, right? Of course I know. And I love you too. God, you're so beautiful. <sighs> Listen, I love every single thing about you. <clears throat> Man, your smile just melts every anger or worry that I may feel. Are you? <laughs> Sorry. Are you trying to be romantic right now? What do you mean? I'm always romantic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but on a serious note, you make me so happy. <laughs> okay. This is becoming serious. Tell me, what's the occasion? Everything about you. I even love the way you love me. I love your calmness. Even in the midst of all of this Amaka's drama. And let's not forget your exceptional cooking skills. <laughs> and the truth is that age is just a number when it comes to you. That is why I want to make this a forever thing. Pamela. <sighs> Pamela. <sighs> Will you marry me? Henry. Please be mine. as your wife. No, what's wrong with you? Amaka, what's gotten into you? Listen, I asked her to marry me because I love her. And because she makes me happy. Why don't you understand that? Don't you want me to be happy? Look, I want you to be happy and that's why I'm insisting you leave her. She's not a good woman. And how would you know what a good woman looks like? Are you a good woman? Well, I'm still a growing child. I'm not yet a woman. But she's 34 years old. 34! The age gap is too much for you. You need a young woman, a young, vibrant woman. Amaka, have you ever heard the saying, age is just a number? Oh, come on. And you said it yourself. You're a growing child. 
So act like it and stay out of grown folks' business. Whatever. Jeez. But I will never accept this marriage between the both of you. As what? Never. What was wrong with this? Amaka! Amaka! What? You mean they are getting married? Yes. I don't want that to happen. I don't like her. Look, Auntie, I prefer you to be his wife. Auntie G, I don't like this auntie at all. I have a feeling that she'll betray my brother in the future. And I keep having these bad dreams about her every single night. I don't like her. And the fact that I, I don't like her and my brother is going crazy about her is annoying. It's very annoying. Look, I just, just calm down, okay? Just calm down. See, this one that your brother wants to get married to her, that means he really likes her, he really loves her, not even like, he really loves her. And besides, you know, they've been dating since. They've been dating for a while now. That's the more reason I don't want her. That's the more reason I don't want them to get married. Look, Auntie Ji, I will never accept that marriage in this house. Never! Look, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't stand that marriage. I can't stand that woman moving into this house for good. I can't! So I, I can't stand this thing. How? EJ. EJ, see, just under your, right under your nose now. They've collected this good man from you. She be sure I just told him how I felt. But no. I'm forming Miss Independence. Miss Independence. Now see me. Hi. No, this marriage is not work. Oh God. Why did I use my hand to score my own now? Eh? What kind of... Hi. Hey. Come see, Jay. Amaka. Listen, I'm tired of you trying to stop me from getting married to Pamela. I don't understand why you wouldn't accept her. Listen, I love her. And that's why I'm going to get married to her. Listen, Pamela is actually a really nice person once you get to know her. She's a sweet soul. Of course she's a sweet soul to you. Look, she's not good for you. Well, it's a good thing I don't need your validation to decide what is good and bad for me. That's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? Because you keep going on and on about the fact that you don't like her, you don't think she's good for me, you, think, you don't think I should marry her, but I don't understand it. I don't get it. I have told you that I love her and she makes me happy. And more importantly, she brings peace into my life. Why is that so hard for you to understand? No one wants your happiness as much as I do. You are my only brother. That's why I'm making sure you don't make mistakes. Take for instance, Auntie EJ. I'm wondering why you've not noticed that she has feelings for you. Now that's a good woman right there, worthy enough to be called wife! Wait, hold on, hold on, relax. First off, stop trying to fix my life. Secondly, don't you ever say that EJ has feelings for me because she doesn't. And I don't even see her that way. Listen, I actually found someone that my heart beats for. And I love her. And we're going to get married and be happy. But. I'm okay if I'm being completely honest. My happiness is never going to be complete if you continue acting like this. Kissing marriage is a thing of joy. It's a good thing. But you? Getting married to Auntie Pamela. I'm not going to accept it. Why? Why? Because she's not a Why? good person. She is not a good person. You can't marry her. And even if you do, I will never accept her as your wife. Amaka, I need you to let this go.
Sir, you yeah. record for me. Yes, yes. Sit down. Yeah. Sir, I hope there's no problem. The problem is Amaka. I don't understand her sudden attitude. Ever since I told her that I'm getting married to Pamela, there's been one fight after the other. What's the problem with her? Listen, Amaka is my only sister. I want her to be happy for me. But her own acceptance of the woman I love is, is, is difficult for me to understand. So, EJ, I have called you here because you are the closest person to her. Has she told you anything? Sir, I've asked her several times, but she hasn't given me any definite answer. But she said that uh, spirit doesn't um, just accept her. That her spirit doesn't like her at all. Since when did Namaka start listening to spirits? I don't like this attitude. Honestly, because it's really pissing me off. So tell me, EJ, just between us, is there anything wrong with Pamela? I mean, you've met her. Eh, but... I wouldn't know. You know I'm always at the gate, so I don't really know much about her now. I'm not always inside here. And? And? And... Amaka, she has never behaved like this before. She's a very good girl. You know, sometimes some people, their spirit doesn't, you know, accept another person's spirit. The, the thing is... I see, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really getting sick of hearing that statement. Her spirit does not like. There has to be a reason. She keeps saying, I don't like her. I don't like Pamela, but I need to know why. What's all of this? Pamela is the woman I love and I plan to spend the rest of my life with her. <clears throat> so you go and tell Amaka to fix her attitude because this marriage is going to happen whether she likes it or not. So she has to live with it and accept the fact that I am marrying the love of my life. Thank you for coming. Um, sir, you just have to take it easy. Since you decided to go on with Pamela, I'll just have to talk to Amaka to accept her. Can I go? You want me to stay? Yeah, sure, you can go. So I don't understand why it's smuggled it would just be... So this is happening for you. Can you believe that their wedding cards are already out? They are planning this marriage seriously. If it's the will of God, so be it. No, there's nothing like so be it. I'm only warning my brother against an old woman that wants to destroy his life. I don't like that woman. I don't. And, and teacher, can you believe I had that dream again? And this time it felt so real. It felt so real. I have a feeling my brother is about to make a huge mistake. A very big one. It's too late. The cards are all out there. No. It's not late. We still have time. Nothing is too late. I don't like that auntie. I don't like her and I don't want my brother to marry her. She's old. I don't feel good about her. Everything about her feels so odd. Auntie, you won't understand. My dear, you just have to be happy for your brother. It's your brother, okay? Just be happy Auntie for Auntie Jay, you. you're not even understanding what I'm saying. I want my brother to be happy. But you see this one? Never. Never. There's nothing like that. I want my brother to be happy, but I will not allow this to happen. My brother will never marry that auntie. 
And even if, even if he marries her, I will never acknowledge her as a family member. God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> I'm to you, my darling. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, ah, Amaka. Amaka, how are you doing? Chai. I pity my brother. I really pity you. Because you just entered the life of a soon to be widower. Very soon she will die and leave you. Well, welcome, welcome back. No, that doesn't mean I'm in support of this union. Because you just wasted two weeks of your life on nothing. The money you will use to invest in your business, you spent it on an old woman. Old woman. It's fine. You should know that I wasted money on gifts that I'm not going to give you. After you, my darling. Don't even listen to her, okay? Haters will hate. Potatoes will potate. And now we're about to elevate to my bedroom where we were. That they're finally married doesn't mean I'll still accept her. In fact, I hate her even more. Amaka, why so much hatred? Because everything she does is an eyesore to me. Don't you realize that now she entered this house, she even looks uglier, uglier than she was before. We both know that Pamela is not an ugly lady. Oh, she's ugly to me. Everything about her is ugly. The food she cooks is tasteless and bad. Yes. Auntie, you whenever I look at this auntie, I have this unpleasant feeling. You won't understand. I feel like she's pretending or something. I don't like her. That's why I say she's ugly, even inside and outside. Ah, that's because she's pregnant. Eh? You, there, 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 there are some changes that you start noticing. How did you know that she's pregnant? Who told you? Ah, I don't need anybody to tell me now. Once a lady is pregnant, even if she's two weeks, I will know. Yes. So you see, let's just let's leave everything and then wish your brother well, that's all. I cannot. Auntie Jay, you know I cannot. I can't. I can't wish my brother well. You know I'm not the type to hide my feelings. I cannot pretend and smile with you even when I'm angry with you. I can't. That's why immediately I saw her, I hated her, I said it. I couldn't hide it. I know. I know you're the type that doesn't hide your mouth. I don't like you. I don't like her. I wish you wanted her to be 10 months pregnant. I don't care. Ten months pregnant. See your mouth here. Run, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amaka, please. Amaka, what is it? Why are you calling my name? Get me this one down on the table. Amaka! Amaka, I said get me this one down on the table! <clears throat> Don't get it by yourself. You sit down, Jay. Do you need anything? Okay. Thank you. Anything else? That's fine. I'm good for now. Please have me drop it. Do you need anything else? <laughs> it's fine. I don't need anything else. Just help me outside. Mm, okay. Mm. Let me help you. But you know, you need to stretch your legs. Because see, your legs are swollen. How did you know? You know, this leg has been paining me for the past two days now. Yeah. I you don't need know. to be walking up and down to relieve your wounds. It's true. Let me help you. 
Thank you. Just continue working, eh? It's good for for you because it will make your swollen leg reduce. Really? Yes, and it will make it easy for you to push, and your baby too will feel relaxed. Uh -huh. It's okay, it's okay. You've done enough. It's okay. How come you know so much about this? Ah, my mom used to be a midwife, so I used to watch all those small, small things she used to do to pregnant women. Yes. But I'm, I'm guessing this was a long time ago. How come you still remember it? Eh? Is it this head? This head? <laughs> hmm. I don't forget it. So. Are you serious? Yes, I still remember everything she taught me. Okay. Yes. Well, lucky you. You still have a mother. I don't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm it's sorry. okay. You know what? No more walking. Eh? Mm, it's okay. enough for one day. This one you've done. It's enough. So just go inside and relax. If you want, I can go and help you buy paper soup. You just give me money. I'll go and help you buy it. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, no problem. If you need inside. anything, just call me. Eh? I'll Thank call. Thank you. Uh, I'm going inside. Uh, no problem. Eh? Take care. No, let me help you open the door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank let me help you. you. Hey, madam. Go in. Okay. Hey, fine woman. <laughs> yes. We are fine. We miss you, baby. <laughs> I miss you guys too. How is everyone? Everyone is fine. IG has been really helpful. And Amaka? You know I'm the wrongest person to ask that question. Come on, don't be petty, Joe. She's, she's still your family. I can't wait to come back home. Honey, this house is so boring without you. I can't wait to have you home. Work is almost done here. I will, baby. I have to go now, my love. Kisses to you and the baby. My regards to everyone. Alright, baby. I love you. Love you too. Bye. <sighs> That's a daddy. Yes. Mm How -hmm. is it? He's fine. He sends his regards. Okay, okay. Ah! Oh, take it easy now. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, it's fine. Sorry, sorry. Amaka, get me water. Amaka, okay. I said, get me water. Don't worry, I'll get it for you. Water. You know what? Just drop it. I've lost my appetite for water. I'll drink it later. Yeah. Mm, thank you. Thank you. It's, I don't know. I'm feeling some type of way. Just help me. Yeah, back. Mm. Okay. That's it. Ah! Oh! Take it easy now. I'm sorry. Do you want to restrict my airflow? From the back? I don't know. Just. Mm. Gently. It's easy. It's, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Just continue with it. Like. Um, Auntie J. Sorry, let me ask you a question. For some days now, you've been helping that, that auntie. Why? You know she doesn't deserve your help. Uh, that's because she's now part of the family. Besides, she's carrying your brother's baby. And I'm doing it because of the baby, not for anybody. Whatever. Because after everything you've done for her, I've never seen her come to you to tell you thank you for everything. Simple thank you. Mm -hmm. See why I don't like her? I hate her. Uh -uh. You don't have to hate her, my dear. The thing is, 
You have to be good to people no matter what. Hmm? It's good you're kind. Perfect. Have you seen anything? Or did you just eat that your ritual? As usual now. Yeah, I'm finished eating it too. <laughs> you ate it without eating food? Uh, no, that one is just to step down. But you know, it's actually not my ritual. Hmm. It was my mom's um, favorite snacks. I got that habit from her. Oh, wow. Mm. That's a strong one. May I so rest in peace. Amen. 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 Please shout to my lips. That's Madame. Come, let's go and help her. Come, let's help go and I cannot stand her. I'll sit down here and wait for you. Since you've decided to be kind, I'll sit here and wait for you whenever you're done. Mm -hmm. Come. Let me go. Let me go. Are you sure you want to help her? Yes, Something that's ungraceful, like what I don't. Hey, baby. Hi, honey. I see you're busy. Yes, I am. How are you? I'm great. Oh, careful. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, you're working. Mm -hmm. That's great. <laughs> you okay? Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm okay. good. Um, babe. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I've actually been <laughs> meaning to ask you something. Yeah, what about? You know, you know, you work so hard, and I admire you for that. And then you take good care of us. You know, but you've never really complained about financial distress or having issues paying one or two bills. And you know, I was just curious, like, <laughs> if my man is this comfortable not complaining about financial issues, how rich is he? Don't get me wrong, you know, you know you're the man I'm spending the rest of my life with. And it's only normal for his wife to know the level of his income, you know? <laughs> you know what, I'm actually glad you asked because, um, you know, babe, the truth is everything you see here is pretty much my dad's, you know? Um, I'm one of those kids that went to school really early and I graduated with really good grades. Then I went on to work with my dad in his company for a couple of years. Okay. Then, you know, one thing led to another, I grew in the ranks and when it was time, he willed everything to me. So, yeah, that's basically it. Mm -hmm. um, when you say everything, do you mean, apart from this house and the company, there are like other stuff? <laughs> yeah of course like you know i'd like to think that there's more to us that meets the eye so basically yeah wow that's interesting <laughs> uh, oh what about your sister amaka your dad didn't leave anything for her <laughs> on the contrary um amaka is actually what most people call daddy's little princess so oh. of course the man wield her a chunk of you know his properties so but you see the catch there is she doesn't you know have access to them until she gets married so as soon as she gets married i transfer her own inheritance to her oh that's 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 great wow babe <laughs> i didn't know we were rich rich <laughs> <laughs> why because you don't see servants and maids around the house well yeah of course i mean for someone who is that rich i mean don't get me wrong it's not like you don't take care of me well enough but i had no idea that we were rich <laughs> Ooh. wow <laughs> um you know my dad always taught us that simplicity is always best oh. and come to think of it if i was one of those people who would always show off i don't think we would ever cross paths don't you think well, as long as we are meant to be, you would have found me too. Of course I would. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a shining star. Oh, please. <laughs> please, enough with all that question. How is my baby and his mother doing? Are you fine? Hi, baby. He's calling your name. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> you're so beautiful. Thank you, baby. 
You know, babe, the truth is, everything you see here is pretty much my dad's. When it was time, he wheeled everything to me. So, yeah, that's basically it. Mm -hmm. Apart from this house and the company, there are like other stuff. Yeah, of course. Like, you know, I'd like to think that there's more to us than meets the eye. So, basically, yeah. Pamela, calm down. Hello? <laughs> Guess what? Do you know this boy is bigger than what we thought? I'm telling you. Inheritance wealth. As in... Big shot. Look, let me tell you. I need to settle down to calculate how we are going to get everything. Everything. We are taking it all. Let me call you back. I let you into my world. What? Hoping you could turn it to paradise. I let you sing this song. Hoping you could turn it to good melody But you are like a parasite ah. Infected Why did it take you so long? Madam ah, Please do, sorry You know the supermarket, their POS wasn't working It's a thing, I don't know, I think it's bad network So I had to go meet all those roadside POS Please people. shut up! Sorry. Let me have it! I should have slept there now. Sorry. Please leave my sights. Your POS, sorry, ATM is inside. Just go and get something for me. You, you want to sleep? Just, just carry your mattress there and sleep. I'm sorry. How long is it supposed to take you? Anamaka said it though. I should have listened to that game. Ah. She told me. Maybe I should have just told. Henry, how I felt about him. All these things will not be happening. Eh? It's like this, this woman be. Ah! That small girl, eh? Her eyes. She can see things. She was saying it. She was saying it. Me, I should carry my trash and go outside and sleep. Okay. No problem. So I have something really exciting I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, I'm all ears. 
All right, here goes. So, um, talk. Relax. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm. So, I was thinking that we should officially make EJ family, right? Like, so I had this idea, okay? okay? Like, so here's where it gets interesting, right? I want her to leave the gate oh and come God. and stay here with us. In Are you house. serious? <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, um, you know how much she's close to us, you understand? She's been with us forever. Yes. Since we were kids, and you know how much daddy liked her, even when her dad died, you know, she was still with us and stuff like that. Plus, I see how close you two are. <laughs> Thank <laughs> okay. you so much, brother. Like, this is the best decision you've made in over six years. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I got married. That's a good decision. No, that's the worst decision you've made, because you got married to the wrong Woman. Oh my god, Amaka, yeah. when would this hatred end? Until you realize that I am right and you are wrong. But by the way, have you told Auntie about this? No, not yet. Oh. And please don't tell her, relax. Okay. I just wanted to let you know about it, know what you think. And then I have to run by my wife as well, so yeah. Okay, so I will not let the cat out of the bag until you tell her, okay? Yes. <laughs> please, keep it to yourself. I will, I promise. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. All right. <laughs> Auntie EJ! <laughs> uh, my baby. How are you? I'm fine, no. Uh, why are you so excited? <laughs> um, Wait. What? It's only two things that can make one excited. Mm -hmm. It's either you win a lotto or you are in love. So you're saying it's only winning a lottery and being in love that can make someone happy? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I didn't win a lottery or anything. But wait, I want to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in love before? Answer the question now. Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> Answer the question. Um, yes. Yes. So tell me, who's the person? This thing. Talk now, why you do your <laughs> why you do your like this? Talk, talk. Hey. Are you Yes. Are you serious? Never in my life will I allow you to bring that girl into this house. What do you mean? Babe, I don't understand why you're raising your voice. There's no big deal in this. Why is it wrong? What is wrong with us making EJ part of the family? Oh, she's so... been a sister to us. Oh, really? This is so what am I? Can't I be your sister as well? Oh, God. Why, why do you want to choose her over me? Why? Relax, okay? Nobody's choosing anybody over you. Why, why are you making this whole thing a big deal? Oh, so it's a big deal? That, that you don't see me as, as your sister, your wife, your everything? Do you know you don't even regard me? Why, Henry? Why? Okay, now you're being overly dramatic. So I'm being dramatic right now. Tell me, why can't I be your sister? Oh my God, babe, calm down. Okay, just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Babe, you, look at your condition. You shouldn't be stressing this much. Oh. So, so, so you know that I'm not supposed to be stressing and I'm telling you what to do. You don't want to take it. Look, let me tell you. Not under my watch will I allow you to bring that girl into this house. It will never happen. Babe, okay. I've told you countless times. EJ is family. She has been a part of us longer than you. She's been here for too long. Listen, she was here long before my father died. So why do you, what's the big deal? We're just trying to make it official. It's official? Did she tell you that she's not comfortable where she is? What is wrong with her being by the gate? That's her job. She's a gatekeeper, nothing more. How can you bring a stranger into our house? Oh, okay, are you trying to tell me that when we are making love, she's going to know? When I cough, when I breathe, she's going to know. Can we have privacy and stop calling her your family member? You guys are not related in any way. Tell me, how are you guys related? Is she your cousin? How are you guys related? Okay, Henry, don't stress me like you already said. I'm not supposed to be stressing in, in this condition. And if you're a good husband, anything I say is what you, what you should take. But I'm trying to be supportive. You're not. If you're supportive, when I say I don't want her to come into this house, you agree with me. 
Don't stress him, it's still your sister and you keep repeating it over and over. That's not nice. As a good husband, immediately I said, EJ cannot come into this house. You tell me, okay darling, that's fine. That's what good husbands do. Why are you lounging? You don't have all the time. You do? You have the documents. <laughs> are you kidding me? Look, I've always known you to be a very smart girl. Just get me that document, bring it to me, and I owe you the world. Do you get me? Henry, I'm a milk you. Pamela, what's the meaning of that? What has gotten into you? Why are you, why are you acting like this? So after everything EJ did for you, through your pregnancy and all the trying times that we've been through as a family, she has stood by us. And what do you do? You're making this whole thing a big deal simply because we asked her to move into the main house and be part of the family. Because she is not family. This is the only family you have. Pamela, you are my wife for God's sake. What more do you want? Why won't you just let this rest? I will not let it rest until you recognize my importance to you as your wife, your sister, your mother, your everything. I'm so disappointed in you. Honestly, I would not believe that you would react this way. You of all people know how valuable EJ is to this family. And you sit there and say all of these things about her. Listen. Let me make something very clear to you. EJ is part of this family, whether you like it or not. And I say over my dead body. Do you hear me? I will not open my eyes and allow somebody crawl into this house all in the name of family. What did she do? Tell me. What did she do for this household that someone has not done before? Tell me. Now, let me tell you. She is nothing but a gatekeeper. And it will end that way. Period. That's how you want to play it, Abby. Mm. Okay. Mm. That's fine. That's fine. Before you know, all in the name of family, 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 family. That's how you go and get her pregnant. And then you, you come and start telling me it, it, it was the devil's work. Come on, Nonsense! DJ! Okay? You want to take my husband from me, eh? Right under my nose! Your prayers will work! You think I don't know? I see the way you look at my husband. I see the way you laugh and the way you brush when he's talking to you. So, right in my very eye, you want to steal my husband? Husband's not there! Husband! Sorry, sorry. Husband's not there! Husband's not there! You want to steal my husband from me? Right under my nose! Shut up! Shut up! What do you mean by no? Am I lying? Am I lying? I see the way you look at him. Me. You're always smiling. Always blushing. Once you hear his voice, you start acting funny. You think I don't know? Right under my nose. You will not try it. Madam, take it easy. Not Madam. Take it easy. Take it easy. You're heavy. Take it easy. You want to smoke smoke? Shut up. That's how you take it easy. You want to take my husband away from me? You think I don't know him now? Your nose is not work. It's not me. You're okay. Okay. Um, I'm sure you're wondering why I called you. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for the thing that transpired between you and my wife. Okay, it was not supposed to go down that way. I hope that you can find it in your heart to forgive us. It's fine. And now, to the other thing that 
you know, we talked about. I spoke with my lawyers and I just wanted to tell you that they're working tirelessly to make sure that all the papers and the procedures that are acquainted with name change are in progress. And sometime within the week, it will be completed. Thank you. So, in the meantime, we would like you to move into the main house with us. Oh my goodness. You want me to move in? Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I, d I don't even know how to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for deciding to let me move into the house. <laughs> this, this means a lot to it's me. Okay. Thank it's you. Okay. Thank you. It's okay, Jay. Listen, if anything, we should be the one thanking you. Because, I mean, you came into our lives at a time where we needed you the most. And you've been nothing short of a blessing to us. Thank you. No, thank you. And what about your wife? Has she, has she accepted? You because I, I, I heard you guys arguing. Uh, don't worry about my wife, okay? Um, just focus on moving in, okay? Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Uh, wait, so you mean no more gate posts? Yes. <laughs> you don't have to open the gate anymore. At all. As a matter of fact, the new gate man will resume very soon. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me just go back to my duty post. Then. You know you don't have to go back there anymore, right? Ah, no, let me just do this for the last time. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, um, EJ, I just wanted to say welcome to the family and yes. we really hope that you like your room design. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sir I like it. There's no need for all those formalities, please. You're my sister now, so please, Henry is just fine. You don't have to see us as superiors. <laughs> You're now my sister. <laughs> and the truth is, you're no longer at the gate. Okay, you are now a bona fide member of this household. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the care. I mean, I mean, no one has cared this much for me since the death of my parents. I, I am so grateful for this. I, I appreciate this so much. I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything, okay? You just have to always know that you're awesome and amazing and you would always have a family here that loves you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, babe, you're back. Welcome. What is going on here? I said, what is going on here? Uh, we're just welcoming EJ into the family officially. Come and join us. So you still went ahead with your plan after what we discussed? Babe, please don't start. I, we talked about this. I said I was going to do it. <laughs> Babe! Well, don't mind her, okay? She's just a bitter leaf, desperate old woman. That's, that's how they believe. You know what? <clears throat> it will be the bad vibes, okay? Let's, yeah. let's raise a glass to EJ. The newest member of our family. My sister. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you. <laughs> Hi, honey. I know. Mm. I missed you. So after I disagreed with you bringing that woman into this house, you still went ahead to bring her? Uh, first of all, not that woman. My sister. Besides, I told you, Pamela, that was going to happen with or without your consent. 
what I know is she's not going to live in this house. What is it with you, Pamela? What's your problem? Last I remember, this girl has been nothing but good to you since you got here. Why are you so against her? I don't care what you remember. What I know is she will not live in this house. Never! Never! You know what? There's no time for all of this drama. What's done is done. Okay? EJ is now my sister and there's nothing I can do to change that. Please. I don't want to hear any more of this. I'm tired. She will stay in this house. She will stay in this house. I'm bringing this friend. No, no. I'm not going to... Yeah. That's Pamela. Yes. You called me. Yes. I wanted you to help me massage my, my, uh, my knee. It okay. hurts. Okay, not to be yeah. Let thank me help you. Yeah. yeah thank sorry, you so yeah. much. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. Oh. Oh, take it easy. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. EJ, can you help me bring my white bag? It's on the back shelf. Okay. It has like a silver stuff on it. White one? Yes. Okay. Thank you. What's all the noise about? What's, what's this? I just walked into this room now and I saw your, your sister with my bag. Ask her what she's doing with my bag. She, she's a thief. She came to steal my bag. Babe, Are you relax, mad? Re no, relax. Shut up, you liar. Babe, uh, you, babe. You, have you forgotten? Calm down. Before we start calling anybody names. What's going on? What are you doing with her bag? I was dancing. Shut up, you liar. What do you mean? She now what? Babe, I did not send her anywhere. Why are you lying? What are you? What, what do you mean by no? Babe, this God, calm babe, down. this girl is a liar. God, you, you lie for a living. That's a lie. See, whatever she's telling you, brother, it's a very big lie. I saw it with my two eyes. I've caught her red handed now. Can you imagine? Why would you be doing this? I heard you call Auntie Jan. You told her to get you your bag. Yes. That's what you said. You said white bag. Yes. I saw you following her, but I, I said, let me see what you wanted to do. I wanted to even call my brother. I said, let me see what you wanted to do. And then you, you're now here to, to accuse her. Accuse her of doing what she did. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Everybody just, calm down. Everybody just relax. You're saying you didn't send her. Now you, you're saying she sent her to get... She's she lying. Auntie Jay. Listen to me. She said Auntie Jay to get her her white bag. She was specific. Her yes, white, white bag. bag. Auntie, have you forgotten? This is your friend. <laughs> You see, you see, you see what your sister is doing. You know she, she never liked me. She never liked me. Why are you lying? You desperate old woman. Oh, you, you see, you just don't see. Don't oh cry. my God, it's so good. That's what she does to you. You know what? We take that. I'll give her a moment. She's, she's emotional. No, 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 we should correct this now. Correct no, this. Go to your room. Get out. No, it's okay. Let's go. No, let's go. Let's go. Give me my bag. Give me my bag. You bitch. Give me, give me. Give me. Can you, can you see for yourself? You can see that this evil connive to steal my bag. She stole my bag and I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. She's the past of this family, so she stays. And I will not let that happen, okay? I won't allow that girl to live in this house as part of this family. It's not going to work. Well, it's too bad there's nothing you or anyone can do about it, okay? We're now legally family, so you have to live with it and move on. If you cannot take me as your sister, your wife, your mother, your family, whatever you want to call it, and send her out, then you have to choose between me or her. Babe, you're joking, right? Don't babe me. Your call. You either pick me or you pick her. So choose wisely. But I've already chosen you as my wife. And I've chosen her as my sister. Why won't you just live with that? Really? Well then. But you are like a parasite. You affected my word from the other side. I hope I will never really find out who you really are. But what you do.
What is this? It's a divorce paper. I want a divorce. You filed for a divorce? Yes, I did. Since you don't want me in this house anymore, I want a divorce. This is bullshit! How do you expect me to grant you a divorce with these ridiculous demands? By the way, Pamela, why do you need a divorce? Really? Are you really asking me that? Look, I'm tired of making you respect my decisions, okay? I can't be with a man who doesn't take side with his wife, who doesn't respect her decision and, and treat her as family, okay? I can't be in a marriage where, where my opinion doesn't count. I can't. Pamela, is this really about EJ or there's more to it? Because if you're filing a divorce over a little argument that we had, that doesn't make any sense. Mr. Man, sign this divorce papers or see you in court. But what you do, Pamela, to me, I wish I could just really turn a blind eyes. But no, 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 no. I want to make your word look like a move. We have a case of what I presented to you, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Yeah, um, the court will give us a date for your hearing. Hopefully, your marriage will be deserved in your favor. <laughs> okay. I mean, thank you very much. I mean, You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I heard that you are the best divorce lawyer in town. <laughs> yes, madam, you can count on me. Ooh, that's great. <laughs> I'll definitely recommend you to my friends. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. You're welcome. Okay, you. so I need to get going. I need to meet, meet up with something real uh, quick. All right, all right. So I'll give you a call and let you know. Oh, okay, madam. Bye-bye. Thank Bye -bye. you so much. Yes, thank you. Calm down, madam. Huh? 
At least you got the divorce you wanted. Who told you the divorce was what I wanted? Do you know what I've lost? I don't even know what to do now. Where do I go from here? The document you submitted had his name and his signature. How come you did not know that he had changed everything? Uh, how was I supposed to know? I mean, it's not my fault. I didn't know the one he was going to present in court today would be different from the one I gave to you. What am I going to do now? Do you, do you think my husband will take me back? Because I can't lose her. I can't lose her completely. You I are can't. divorced, ma'am. Huh. What is this now? I never loved him. You should talk to me. Everything went as planned. He liked me. He took my number. Okay, cool. That's nice. Did you take his? Yes, he gave me his number. Have you called him? Why would I call him? I thought a man is supposed to be the one to call a woman. But that's not where we are now. This is not the time to do... I, I think he's a guy that's supposed to call a woman. You need to call him. Do you follow up on the guy before someone else has laid their hands on him? But I thought he's supposed to be the one to call me. Well, right now, we are not doing that. Well, I don't know if he if he likes me like that. He he only liked the way I danced. And that, that was that was why he took my number. I don't know if he, if he likes me personally. Okay, but most important thing is that he saw you. You guys made eye contact, did you not? Yes, we did. Oh come on then, what do you call the guy now? Lucas, why are you so selfish? Why? Why does everything about you have to do with money, 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 money? Why? Why are you so greedy? Why am I so greedy? Is that same money that I used to take care of you? Have you forgotten how I met you? Oh, oh now you're calling me greedy? Just one simple assignment. Meet a guy, get his number, get him to like you. You're calling me greedy. Do you realize I'm older than this guy? older than me. Get into his head, get what we need, and let's get out. Simple as ABC. Lucas. Jesus Christ. Do you... I'm your woman. Just do what I ask you to do. Simple. You're not even considering the fact that I'm your woman. I mean, you don't even have regard or respect for me. You see, I never really loved him. The, the reason I, I, I came into this marriage was because I needed to get something out of it. I, I, I can't just lose like that. And now I'm back to square one. I don't even have a house to go to. Once I get home now, I'm going to pack my things and I, I, I don't know where to go. Remember you're still owing me. Huh? I said I don't have where to go from here. You're asking me about your work. I want to believe you heard me right. I not hear you right. But what you do to me, I wish I could just really turn a blind eyes. But no, 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 no. I want to make your world look like a movie. But you're never really on the same page Pamela, how dumb can you be? How did you not know that that document was changed? You are talking rubbish! Listen, 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 listen to me! This is your mess and you need to fix it. Do you understand me? You need to fix How can you tell me that he divorced you and you have nothing? I've always known you to be dumb, for goodness sake. You are going to fix this? You are not sorry. The only sorry I want to hear is that you have fixed this. Failure to do that? Ah, you know me. You know me. You know me. You know me. And you know what I can do. Fix this. If you don't fix this... Ah, 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 ah. Just try and fix this.
What did you say? What did you say? Say that again. If I see you near my house, I will skin you alive. Fix this or else you go go viral. You go go viral. Don't try me. Get out of my phone. You're here. Pack your things and get out of my house. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I was a fool. Please. I'm sorry. I know it doesn't make any sense. I don't know what came over me. You're, you're an evil witch. You are evil. I'm sorry. Please. You're here begging, right? You're, you're, you're begging. I should forgive you. What would have happened if you had taken everything from me? Huh? No! What would have happened if you had taken all of this from me? It was the devil. It was the devil. You are the devil! Pamela, you are the devil! Please. Wait, wait, have you even wondered how I got to know about your skin? Huh? Maybe I may be right after all. Pamela has been acting funny since I told her about my will. I caught her severally trying to hit Amaka in hiding, but yet turned a blind eye because I felt Amaka was wrong. She lies and pretend even after stealing from me. Why did she lie about not searching for this wheel? When I clearly saw her rejoicing and going through it. Hmm. Listen, the truth is I no longer trust my wife. Okay? So for now I want everything saved in my sister's name. Uh, maybe in the future we're going to have to revise that, but for now it stays that way. Thank you. Listen, for now, I want things to stay between us. I think it's best that way. Okay? I have my reasons. All right, thank you. Listen to me and listen good. I want to be done with you for the rest of my life. Ring my lips. You are dead to me. I'm sorry. Now go up there, pack your things, and get out of my house. I don't ever want to see you again. Because I promise you, if I ever set my eyes on you again, I am going to struggle you to death. I'm sorry. You're still here! I'll leave, I'll leave. I'll... Get out! Okay, okay, okay. I wish you could be the reason for my love song. But you never really on the same page with me. No, 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 no. I will never be hypnotized by your love. <laughs> Evil it witch. All. No, 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 no. I will never be you should, hypnotized. You have exactly 15 minutes love. to get out of this house. 15 minutes is too small. I'm sorry. But you are Can like a parasite. Me? Affected my word from the other side. You hope I will never really find out who you really are. What's wrong with this? What are you doing here? Henry, please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I told you never to show your face in this house again. 
Mary, please forgive me. I don't have anywhere to go to. The only money I have left will last for two days in the accommodation I'm staying in. Please, I'm sorry. I don't care. Forgive me. Jonathan, I don't care. Now get out of this house and never show your face here again. Please, help me beg you, please. You're still here. Mary, please. Get out. Mary, please. Get out. I'm pregnant. Get out. Get out! Hmm. Mighty man in battle. The emperor. The lion of the tribe of Judah. That's him. That is my brother. He's that man from a few months back. I don't know him. But my brother is back. This is the brother I know. For once in a few years, you have done the right thing. Uh -huh. okay, it's enough. It's okay. It's enough. Ah. Brother, you have done well. That manipulative spirit. I'm glad that's enough. It's enough. I'm just trying to tell you that that old doom man has finally gone. I will soon send you back to your room. If you keep up this, you will go back to your room. Why are you trying to make me angry now? Now that you have done something good at least for once. I'm happy for you. You don't know that when I'm angry, I breathe fire. Yeah. But you are like a parasite. How did she even get in here? Exactly. My, my question. My question. That's my question. How did she get into this house? Who opened the gate for her? Is it the pregnancy, the baby that opened the gate? To me, I wish I could Henry. just really turn a blind eye. I know I've messed up big time. I've disappointed you in every way. But please, don't treat me like this. I beg you in the name of God. I have not been the best, but please. Please, I beg you, I beg you, if not for anything else, please, for the sake of our child, please forgive me. Forgive me, I beg you, in the name of God, please. I will never forgive you. I swear to God, I will <laughs> never let this go. Please. Pamela, you try to take everything from me. I don't know what came over me, please. If not for anything, if not for anything, Henry. For the sake of our child. I, I, I'm not trying to blackmail you emotionally, I promise you. But for the sake of our unborn child. Please don't let this child suffer. Please, I beg you. I beg you, Henry, please. I'm sorry. Brother, brother, what did I just see? That auntie, Auntie Pamela, you brought her back into this house? How could you be so gullible that you don't even know what to do anymore? It feels like it feels like you've lost it! I'm sorry to be rude, but I have to say this! I thought you were supposed to be my big brother. You were supposed to be teaching me, you were supposed to be correcting me and be telling me all this thing, but it turns out that I am now your big sister. Why? Well, have you forgotten everything she did to you? Do I have to remind you? Okay, I will. Have you forgotten how she brought a divorce paper right after you got married? Out of the blues! Why? Because she wanted to take everything our parents worked for. She wanted to take everything away from you. She ganged up with your own lawyer to take your property. What if she had succeeded? What would you have done? Well, luckily she didn't succeed. And then the only thing you thought of was to bring her back into this house. Why? Because you wanted to be kind? Let me tell you, no matter how much you help her, she will never be kind. What if she has another plan? I know she's manipulative, but you also should have a control of yourself. You should. What if she comes with another plan now? What, she, what if she comes with a plan to, to, to kill you or something? Have you thought about that? And the worst part is you even gave her back the master bedroom. That means she'll be sleeping right beside you. What do you think you are doing, brother? What? Is she blackmailing you or something? Tell me, talk to me. What has she done to you again? I don't believe this. I thought you were back, you know. I already knew that 
There is something she did to you in the beginning that made you fall so much for her. But I thought you were back. I thought my brother was back, but now I can't see you anymore. I'm disappointed. I know this might sound rude, but I have to say it. I am disappointed at you. What is this? It's a divorce paper. I want a divorce. You filed for a divorce? Yes, I did. Since you don't want me in this house anymore, I want a divorce. This is bullshit! How do you expect me to grant you a divorce with these ridiculous demands? By the way, Pamela, why do you need a divorce? Really? Are you really asking me that? Look, I'm tired of making you respect my decisions, okay? I can't be with a man who doesn't take side with his wife, who doesn't respect her decision and, and treat her as family, okay? I can't be in a marriage where, where my opinion doesn't count. I can't. Pamela, is this really about EJ or there's more to it? But you are like a parasite Infected my word from the other side You hope I will never really find out Who you really are Um, Pamela I've been doing a lot of thinking About us And I've come to the conclusion that we cannot walk. And if we are being honest, our marriage has been over for some time now. Henry, I thought you have forgiven me. I did. I do. Listen, as a matter of fact, I have forgiven you from the bottom of my heart. I can no longer marry you anymore. The only reason why I let you back into this house is, is for the sake of our unborn child. So you can stay for as long as you want until you find your feet. But Henry. <laughs> Listen, Pamela. I'm serious. I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. I just hope that you can respect that. Because Pamela, you have caused me so much pain. Enough pain to last me a lifetime. You have until the end of today to move all your things from the master's bedroom. You can take any of the guest rooms that you want to take. It's fine. I've, I've heard everything you said. Thank you very much. God of mercy. <laughs> what's funny? Are you asking what's funny? How the mind he has fallen. So finally, you've left the master bedroom to the visitor's room. <laughs> and let me tell you, from the visitor's room straight to the gates, <laughs> you will leave the house. Nonsense. 
The only thing, the only good thing I know I can do for you is when you give birth, that's if you give birth successfully. I will carry the baby if he's not an old baby. Carry the baby and take care of the baby. But you see, accepting you into this house, never. Never. Do you know what you did to me? You made my brother see me as a liar. That's so painful. And you pay for it. You already started paying for it. Go and sleep in the visitor's room. Like you said, choose anyone you want. Be free. But don't come close to his master bedroom. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I could help you come and take your things to the visitor's room. I'm around. Let me just go and <laughs> dance a dance of victory. <laughs> You said you wanted to tell me something, so what is it? I'm pregnant. You're what? You heard me. I'm pregnant. You are pregnant! <laughs> why, 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 why would you be pregnant? What do you mean by why would I be pregnant? Why would you be pregnant? You, you have a dear at hand! Why? The hell will you be pregnant? What do you mean? What do I... Who's responsible? What kind of question is that? You, of course! Hey, 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 hey. You see, your smart mouth, when you talk, you will tone it down when you talk to me. Do you get me? Do you, do you understand me? Do you understand me? Yes. Who? Whose child is it? It's yours. It's mine. Mm. Why would you be pregnant when you know we have a day at hand? That's what I don't understand. Why are you slow? Well, Lucas, if your pull-out game was strong enough, I don't think I would be pregnant. What do you intend to do with that? I'm speaking to you! What do you intend to do with that? Can I think? Think. Just think! So... I'm thinking of pinning the pregnancy on Henry. How do you intend to do that? So... I don't... Listen, if I ask you a question, just answer me. So I plan... I'm, I'm supposed to see him tomorrow. Okay. And we'll, we'll go have a drink. And from there, I'll lure him to probably a hotel or something. And then afterwards... You know the rest. See? You have brain. You can think. Why are you stressing me all the while? Come on! You can think! <laughs> Come. It's okay. It's okay. Just get him drunk. Mm -hmm. Then go to have the thing and we get what we want and this is done it's as simple as APC my darling um <clears throat> hey guys are you guys up there 
Amaka, EJ, Henry, you guys come downstairs. I have something to share with you guys. Wow, you guys, you guys had me. <laughs> oh. What's going on here? Well, well, well. Have a seat. Can you kiss it? Can you kiss it this way? Just come close so I can feel it. Ah. <sighs> Firstly, I want to thank you guys for coming downstairs after I called. Um, I want to use this medium to apologize to you guys. Henry, I know I've offended you. I know what I've done to you is beyond forgiveness. But please, if there's anywhere in your heart, anywhere at all, anywhere that you can just find a place to forgive me and i pray to almighty god that this day will be brand new for all of us amaka i know i've said so many things to you and you don't deserve hearing all those kind of things but I just want you to please forgive me. I know my anger took the best of me while you and I were trying to get along, but it never worked. Just let's try to start afresh. And I know and I pray that it will all work out for good. EJ, you have never offended me. Never for once can I even remember from the top of my head. You've always been nice to me. And I've always treated you badly. Please forgive me. Whatever I've done to you, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Which is why I brought this drink so we can all start afresh and cheers to a new beginning. Come on, Amaka, please. Please, let's start afresh. Please, just, just, just hold it. Thank you. Put it back on the table. I said, put it back on the table. Did I do anything wrong? EJ, put it down. Ah, well, she's offering put it thing. down. You will not listen to my wise brother. I'm He's talking now, you will not sorry. listen. Put it down. Pamela, just out of curiosity, why are the three glasses instead of four? Um, actually, you know I'm pregnant, and as a pregnant woman, it's, um, you there are some things you shouldn't drink. Yes, mm. she's right. Mm. Sugar. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Mm. You're such a terrible liar. Right? Because for some reason you think we are fools. What? What are you talking about? What if do you mean? If you dare deny this, I will drive my fist into your face. What are you going to do? You think I didn't see you, right? Me?
said it. Oh my God, I said it. I was right. I said it. You know, when I talk like this because I'm a child, nobody will believe me. You will think I'm dumb. But I said it that nothing good will ever come out and can never come out from this old woman's brain. The only thing that she can produce is how to kill people, how to take things from people, and how to do bad things. That's all. You tried to kill us all. Every last one of us. After everything that we did for you. Everything. It's, 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 I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's the hormones. Really? The pregnancy hormones. <laughs> no, we understand. We understand that sometimes pregnancy hormones can be high. But see, with this drink, we will drink it and it will come down. You think I was even supporting you? You must drink this drink. Drink it! Drink it! No, 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 Exactly, let us kill her. This poison should kill you and this bastard baby. That's right. I know. Did you know that this evil witch has been lying the whole time that this baby was mine? Are you serious? What did we do to you this weekend, old woman? Oh my god. So you wanted to pin this pregnancy on him? Why? My well, innocent brother. Pamela, why? Why are you this wicked? Why do you want to kill us? Why are you like this, huh? Get out of my sight! Leave my house! Run out! No! Go, 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 go! Run! Run! I'm sorry, Mr. Devil. Which old woman is this? Ah, you are the sister of the devil. I was telling you! 34 years old woman! What do you know? Wicked huh? so! Evil! God. Live here! Ah! Hey. How can somebody be this evil? An old woman that's supposed to be sitting down somewhere? I almost drank it though, so that's how I would have died, just like that. See, eh? Oh, this is, brother, this is your fault. This is your fault. If you had listened to me, this, you would have listened to your sister and your, and your sister for goodness sake. I was sake. busy doing good Samaritan, and I was even pleading on her behalf so that you accept her back. I was telling you. Hey! I was telling the both of you, but nobody listened to me. Pamela is evil. Because I know that me, I, I cannot die. It's not today, it's not tomorrow. I will not die anytime soon. I still have a long life to live. Because if, if you if you had listened to me, you listen to me, I, I warned you. Even when you heard them, you saw them, you said to ignore them because what? You were blinded by what? Love. Ha! Ah. You don't think I know it's my fault. I know. I know that I put all of us in danger. I let this witch into our house, into our lives. Almost cost all of us our lives. And I'm so sorry. Both of you, I am deeply sorry. Wait. So you mean to tell me she wanted to actually pin that pregnancy on you? Exactly. I swear to you. Listen, I have concrete evidence that that lady, that baby she's carrying inside of her, is not even mine. She went too far. She's evil. Brother, I know you made a lot of mistakes, but if we look at it from another point of view, I understand you very well. So I want to say I forgive you for everything. But you know that I'm your sister, your only sister. I won't do anything to try to hurt you. Anything I say is for your own good. I must have seen something to, to say it. Okay? It's okay. Thank you. It's fine. God, family, you stand up, 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 up. <laughs> <laughs> Sing 
empty song Hoping you could turn it to good melody But you are like a parasite Infected my word from the other side You hope I will never really find out Who you really are 